All right, my track went two and two. Georgian and three and I'm back with some more Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke game for you guys. It's been a while, it's been a couple days. But um, I'm back. And this is now part four. And in this part, we're gonna clear out Orberg Gate, which is where we're going right now. Orberg City and Orberg Mine. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. But of course, before we begin, in the last part, part three, hold on, my mouse, there we go. Part three, we cleared out routes 203 and 204. We had Rival Battle 2 versus John. And I caught two Shanks, pulled Jesse Quick. I wanted one with Intimidate, and I found out that they had a bad nature. I just woke up, so I am tired. Um, enough about me ranting. Alright, let me give you guys a quick team recap of the team. First up, we have Plum. The female Bidoof at level 10. Pure normal type. Simple, has her ability. Rock and lose tackle, ground, defense pro. I said we have Starly, the female, we have Star, the female Star, the level 13, normal flying type. Keen Eye as her ability, Rock and Blue's Quick Attack, Wing Attack, Double Team, and Growl. And last one is we have our starter. Wait, you need the same XP? Interesting. And the same experience point there. Oh, 10 9 Oh, it's the new pet 10 9 <laughs> And next up we have our starter Pokemon and our partner Pokemon over here, Shady. The male, Piplup, a level 13, pure water type. Oh, I forgot that jolly meat. It's gonna be interesting. The uh, torrent as ability, rock and lose bubble pound, growl and water sport. Wild defense, well, our HP of course, and defense. Our highest, our highest stat. This is gonna be intense. Orberg Gate. That spark with new Pokat. Your awkwardness as a traveler. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, are you? But it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me give you a gift of this hidden machine to you. Alright, we got HMO6, which is Rock Smash. The hidden machine, or HM for short, contains the hidden move Rock Smash. Your Pokemon in Rock Smash can smash small boulders on the field. But the trainer has to have the gym badge from Orberg City. If you don't have that badge, you can't make use of the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. Okay, my encounter for Orberg Gate is... The Zubat. I mean, I've, I've, I've trained the, the Zubat family in um, Emerald. Zubat. Alright, over the Pokeball. Green counter counts. Level 5 female. <laughs> Zubat's daddy, what bad to Pokedex? Zubat, the bat poison flying Pokemon. It checks its surroundings and location using reflections of the ultrasonic waves from its mouth. You 
Batgirl. Alright. At least we got our encounter. Trying to see if there's any hidden items. Okay, what else could have gotten? Close with that. Challenges anywhere. What we do? We're challenged by Camper Curtis. In a Starly level seven. All right. Shock yet or spark. I would hope not. I right, shrink level seven. Oh, it doesn't even have intimidate. Camper Curtis, hmm, it's an infinity raised. 112 Poké Dollars or winning. Pokemon can appear anywhere in the cave. It's not like just tall, like tall grass by roads. Uh, of course, I knew I was gonna do that. Hey, back girl. Wow, lonely nature. Attack is good, defense is bad. Interesting. Inner focus cannot be flinched. Celebrate me getting through this cave. I'm going to battle you. We're trying to buy Picnicker Diana. What a Badoof. Level 9. Diana. Well, I guess losing is something to commemor commemorate. Commemorate to 144 points for winning. Getting through this cave feels like an adventure. You don't say. Warburg City, City of Energy. Howdy, trainer. Oh, huh? Oh, you don't have a single badge. You better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon Gym. What you, Joey? You finally got here. You're slow like always. But anyway, the gym leader is tough. Like seriously, serious. The gym leader is this tough. I wonder how he compares to my dad. Hmm, mine just shifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on gym leader, you better go off to the mine. Overbrook City, Pokemon gym leader, Vork. Call me Vork the Rock. Ooh, he's a rock fan. He's the rock type gym leader. You know, Pokemon have different natures. Like we have personalities, I don't think that's surprising to see Pokemon in different colors. Have you seen or heard about different colored Pokemon? For instance, regular Pikachu has a yellow body, correct? While the different colored Pikachu has a sort of orange body. Hello, Pikachu. Yep. Yeah, they're talking about shiny Pokemon. 
You have a 1 in 8,000 chance. And then if you have, like, the shiny charm and you do, like, the Masuna Met and all that good stuff, um, you increase your chances. And if you hatch an egg by you having a Japanese ditto or a foreign ditto and your country is different from that one, you have a high percentage of hatching it. These vents exchange the hot air down below with the fresh air outside. Looking down, them giving me the urge to start yelling into them. Hello? Jim is like any Jim you meet. Obviously, they're a lot tougher. A lot. I'll take as many Pokemon as I will you. I need to get an item somewhere. Work, let's just try Pokemon in the mine. There are eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective for trainers is to get all the gym badges from all of them. I mean, you have to defeat all of them in battles in their gym. Are you catching Pokemon here? Take this if you like. There we go, a Dusk Ball! Oh, that ball is more effective if it works at night. As a, I think it has a higher catch rate than an Ultra Ball at night, but during the day it's like a regular Pokeball. Dust Ball is a Pokeball designed for use in darkness. It works better if you use it in, in night or, or in a cave as well. Side, so I can name them yellow. Given the case, a Pokemon is the way to go. It makes you feel like if they're very own. But he named our side like yellow just because of his color. I don't understand a lot behind that at all. I don't know. I'll take the free item though. Have you seen the vents? They release steam from down below. When you trade a Pokemon, the item it's holding is trade as well. That's pretty cool, huh? It means you can give an item as a gift, as long as a trade. Listen, listen, do you have a Machop? If you want to trade your Machop for my Abra, okay, so our first in-game trade. The Pokemon obtained in a trade grows quickly, but if Pokemon grows too much, it may ignore the trade. Of course, it won't matter if you have a lot of gym badges. Um, when you have all your gym badges, any level base, and every two levels, it goes up to 30, 50, 70, and then any level, I believe. So our first in-game trade, we give, what'd she say, Machop, for Abra, but Abra falls via trade, and I can't trade in this game, so that would not benefit me. All Pokemon have a special power called an ability. The view is good from the second floor, but it's pain going outside. If you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Geodude? Uh, if we show him a Geodude, I think he'll give us a heal bowl or something like that. My favorite Pokemon ability is Patrice's pickup. My darling picked up a lot of drop items without me noticing. on water and bug Pokemon by one. I hate that they're pricey, but they have a higher catch rate than an Ultra Ball, I believe. If used on those type of Pokemon, if not, that's a regular Pokeball. The gym leader will have to work in the mine. When I run around with my running shoes, I'm the center of attention. Oh, at least that's what it feels like. There's always someone looking at me. He has a single use only, but agents can be used over and over again. It's tricky to decide what Pokemon should learn a new move. I've had this huge mountain that towers over everything. It's device I don't want to do dis distant halves. Talk about Mount Coronet. And she is not wrong. As you know, TMs are single use from generations one to four. And Gen 5 and up they made unlimited. Mine Museum. Coal mine and then you. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna try to talk to that one. The video will never end. Natural time capsules buried many, many years ago. That's where fossils are. You remind me some of the time I got my first Pokemon. I always have run time trying to decide what moves my Pokemon should learn. Hi, your Pokemon use some toughen up. Why not train the Orenburg mine? 
only pip up about a fair a lot of rock types there. I believe this guy gets us a great ball. My phone lines are twinkling brightly. Seeing that makes me happy. I want to give you this. Nice. Got ourselves a great ball. The Warburg Mines operate with the utmost care. We avoid causing any damage to the natural habitats of the mine. Hole is carried out of Orberg Mine in a fully automatic system. Machines do all the work on so very easy. Route 207 is a new encounter. That's so too slippery, you need a bike to get up. You don't have a bicycle, that is a bike, there's a cycle shop and a turn to city. Alright, I'll encounter for route 207 is. Alright, show us the mine first. Probably even weak in this. Wait, what is he not fucking? Capture everything, so then dupes, you know, is a thing. Nice. Doctor Judah was caught. Oh, I was hoping for a ponytail. Never trained one before. I know the about level 40 or something like that, but it's alright. Judah's out of blue. We had Pokedex. Judah, the rock, rock ground Pokemon. At rest, it looks like just a rock. Kids stepping on it will make it swing its fist angrily. Oh, his name is Julia Dude Rocky. Garrus is so Rocky Johnson, the soul man. The Rock's dad. Oh, and he's holding an Everstone. That's good for EV training. And breeding. I mean, yeah, breeding. But, um, it prevents a Pokemon from evolving when it holds the item. Gentle Nature. Rockhead as his ability uh, protects the Pokemon from recoil damage. Um. Gentle Nature. I don't remember what that is. Gentle nature, special defense good, and defense bad, which is uh, not good for a Jill, dude. Oh, got a Pokeball. Nice. Another Pokeball, nice. At this point, I'm gonna cry. Okay. I'm still mad. Part of the mine, they're digging for coal under the CSU sink. It's amazing how they do it. 
chop chop and chop 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 away on rocks. I'm taking a tour of the coal mine, wonderful. That's excellent of you. It's always good to learn about the new things and board in board in your horizons. A pile of dirty sand is called a slag heap. It's the waste from sorting coal. Alright, that's also a dire hit. That will increase our chances of a critical hit until you swap or until you're knocked out. You fainted. Oh, and a yellow shard. Uh, in this game, they want shards as well. And you get, um... Exchange for a move, I think? I just sworn it was a hidden item somewhere. There's no question, this is hard, hard work, but working along type of point, it gave me a boost somehow. Here, take one of these. Oh, got a little super potion. Nice. Doing hell and hearty puts a smile on my face, and that makes me happy. I knew it! Found a heart scale. You get that to someone in exchange to remember in a move. Orberg Mine, beware of busy Pokemon. Everyone that works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles. Haha. -ha. I found what I thought were some rocks that started moving. They were Pokemon that looked just like rocks. Alright, my encounter for Orberg Mine is. Dupes. That is dupes. On another Pokeball. Wow, he's got three Pokeballs within five minutes. Alright, my encounter over mine is... Okay, that's dupes. I met these Machopper all 207, they now become my most trusted partners. Oh yeah, Machopper also could have been my encounter. I'm gonna let you in on a secret, I snuck my Pokemon to work. That was my worker, Mason. What did you do? Level 9! Alright, we have Shady the Goon! Gilded was defeated. 139 experience. And defeated worker Mason. Well now, aren't you something? 360 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, okay, time for work. I'll work on Thirst for my Pokémon. Found an, a potion. I was about to say another one, but I don't even know if we found one. Experience for Shady. Any water and grass types? Train a mirror for a little bit. 93 experience and Shady Goots level 14. Excellent. Everything is above level well, 20 or above, that's not bad. Found an escape rope, nice. 
Fine, alrighty then. Just a quick battle on my break. Challenge my worker, Colin. Colin. Your Jews are level six. What? Defeat a worker, Colin. What mercy? I cry mercy. 320 poker dollars for winning. I better get back to work. You know, I'd rather be traveling around with Pokemon the way you do. That would Jill do? That's crazy. Plump Rock Smash. The so Rock Smash is HM06. The user slugs the foe with a shattering punch. It can also smash cracked boulders. It can also lower defense. Uh, 15 PP. Fine time move. Physical. Power 40. Active 100. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden, hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder block you away. One boulder need to be smashed so they're added away. If you can get the badge from the gym in this town, you'll be able to do that too. Of course, you have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Use the escape rope. The only encounter that I know left is an onyx. So I can technically get an onyx. City Pokemon Gym Leader Rourke, call me Rourke the Rock. Alright, we're gonna go for our first badge. Howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier. The gym leader is a user of Rock type Pokemon, he's talking about John. Oh, listen, Rock type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak to grass moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. But don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a Rock type with fire Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. been streaming for about 29 minutes not bad you avoided the long way around let's see how you'll do that yeah you can choose to skip these trainers but we need the experience and i don't skip trainers you are challenged by youngster jonathan what did you do level 11 Youngster Jonathan. Now I understand why he decided to battle me. Yeah, for the experience, matey. On 76 for so winning. You should go whichever way you want. Shortcut or the long way. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. Oh, he's a poet! He didn't know it. He sounds like Youngster Darius. So Jujo level 9. Alright, Jojo is defeated. 
Nice. Shady Goose level 50, but one level away from a friend flop. What's we'll our impact? Pack is a physical type move, 35 pp, power 35, accuracy 100, the ball is jabbed with a sharply pointed beak or a horn. Uh, the water sport, I guess. Oh, an onyx. A nine. Onyx is rock ground and could have Rocket as his ability on a speed. I'm not sure what else it can have. Could have Sturdy, I think. 207 experience. And if he young to Darius. God, is humiliated. 145 progress for winning. But Sturdy is weird in this game. They fixed in Gen 5 and up. Gen 5 and up means no matter what, you cannot be one shotted. But in Gen 3 to 4, because abilities were first introduced in Generation 3, fun fact, uh, they can't. Be one hit KO'd by like horn drill fissure like that. One day I'm gonna make I'm gonna become a tough trainer like you. Thank you, mate. And I keep going. Wow, I'm on the level. Let's save. I hate this. I hate this game when you save after, like, not, you know, like, if you don't save after a while, it's just saving a lot of data. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Roar, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that you battle with. Alright, here we go. Gym leader number one, Rourke. The Orberg City Gym Leader, the Rock-type user. He has a team of three. He starts battle with a Geodude a level 12 male. Rock ground type. Rock hat as ability or sturdy as ability. Alright, Geodude was defeated. We need seven experience. Nice. Alright, next up he has Onyx. Also level 12, male, rock ground type, rock head or sturdy as ability as well. So, I did not expect that. And using stealth rock. Oh, he's a potion, that's why. Alright, Onyx was defeated. Stealth Rock is now if I swap, I'll take damage. 277 experience, nice! Shady Whistle 16. Crane Needles. One of the possible points in this game. A level 14 male. I think you take down the next Pokemon like you did earlier. Wait, Mold Breaker? Mold Breaker is it can attack regardless of, like, of abilities and stuff like that. Um. We don't have speed? What? Oh, Bubble, come on, I need that speed drop. Not even to a KO. Okay, we're in trouble here. We are in trouble here. Dab headbutt. I have, to, I have to be careful. Critical hits are still double damage in this generation. The speed time. Oh, go for that growl, baby. One more growl. Can't chance the speed tie. Good thing that super potion came in handy. Woo! Here we go. 
eight damage. Alright, he's in a heal. For sure. No way, not yet, not giving up. I lied. But I flinched! Alright. Get this Cranios out of here, just try. Oh, now I get a critical here. Oh, your Kranos is uh, pure rock. And 297 experience. And defeated Gym Leader Rourke. What? This can't be my buffed up Pokemon. 1684, that's for winning. What? Shady's evolving. Oh, our first evolution? Congratulations, your Shady evolved into Printful. Shady wants to learn to move Metal Claw. Interesting. Uh, Metal Claw is 35 PP. Steel type move. Physical. Power 50. Accuracy 95. The foe is great with Steel Claws. It may also raise the user's attack stat. So we'll get rid of Pound. Oh man. Nice. Shady learned Metal Claw. We're gonna put Shady in the back now. We gotta grind up. This is an embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pro One League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you beat me, the leader. Here's an official Pro One League coal badge. We got ourselves the coal badge from Roar. Which means we update the layout. So zero badges, eight to go. But now one badge done, seven to go. Been streaming for about 37 minutes. Having the cold bed means your Pokemon can use the hit and move rock smash outside of battle. You should also take this too. Got TM76, which is stealth rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on the fold that switches into battle. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break when you use it, so make sure you want to use the Pokemon that can learn that move. In, the region of, in this region of Sinnoh, there are seven other gym leaders. I should warn you, they're a lot tougher than I am. I don't know why you doubt yourself like that. Oh, Joe, you're taking care of the gym leaders, so did my advice come in handy or what? If my advice was useful, it will be great if you became my fan. Oh. What brings a point him? Leader of work. Certified trainer, John Joey. Alright. First thing is first, we gotta heal. That's definitely the first thing. Let's see, Shady. I'm about to level up. Stats are still pretty good. HP and defense are his highest stats. Hmm. I have bulk. I want to get Starly to evolve. Starly, Star, she evolves level 14. Whoops, Joe, you got the gym badge, huh? Eternal City's the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go to our Bicycle. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next up, Eternal Gym Badge. 10 seconds before I dash, 9, ah, we got time to count. Um, might as well finish clearing this out. Now we have Rock Smash. Oh my goodness.
Oh, what am I doing? I need to go in anyway. Alright, nice. TM70 flash. And then you fix the accuracy in this generation. Well, they did! They made it 100! Excellent! TM70 flash, normal type move, 20 pp. Category status, no power, 100 accuracy, and it can lower accuracy by one. No one can learn it. I really. I. I don't know why I thought it was Gen 5 that did that. Well, that's good, because it actually used to be 70. I hated that. Flash is actually a great move. We could just keep blowing accuracy. Like sand attack. So I'll finish exploring this and then I will end the part. I don't have the bike. Do you see those bumps on the ground? It feels awesome taking those fast taking those fast on a bicycle. Oh, found a big pro, we can sell that. I believe for 3750. Excellent. Excellent. Star goods level 14. What? Star is evolving. Our second evolution. Oh yeah, let's go! Staravia is here. Congratulations, your star buttons to Staravia. Let's go. Staravia. Intimidate lowers the foes attacks that I love that. HP, speed, and attack. Ooh, special defense is really low. Oh no. Wow, these Zubats. Tell me, have you not obtained a pal pad? It's not a pal pad free to anyone visiting a bonus at his basement. Anyway, there appears to be no one shading in this super life study. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. But my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown ups. There he goes. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. And that's it. End the part. for about 44 minutes over 45 that's not too bad I gotta train plump up all right so we have to backtrack and we gotta go up this time but we'll save that for the next part all right. So this has been part four, and in of my let's play of Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, my journey will continue. Don't worry. In this part, we got HMO6 Rock Smash from that hiker. We explored Orberg City, Mine, and Cave. Battled a couple trainers, defeated Rourke, 
the rock type gym leader of Orberg City, got ourselves the coal badge and TM76 Stealth Rock. Shady evolved into Prinplub, our first evolution, and Star evolved into Tharavia, our second evolution. And our encounter was a Zubat in the Orberg Gate. And Route 207 was Geodude, our encounter. So let me give you guys a quick team recap for in the part. First up we have Plump, the female Bidoof at level 10. Simple as her ability, rock moves, tackle, growl, defense curl, and her newly acquired move, rock smash. Next up we have our newly evolved star, the female Staravia at level 14. With her new ability Intimidate, which will come in handy, rock moves, quick attack, wing attack, double team, and growl. And last but not least we have Shady, the male Primplup. At level 16, about to level up immediately to level 17. Pure water type, that beautiful jolly nature, torrent as his ability. Rock and moves bubble, his newly acquired move metal claw, brow, and his other newly acquired move peck, and our newly evolved friend plot. And that's it. So this video and commentary has come to an end. This is JoJo93. Hope you guys enjoyed the part. Hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. Hope you guys have a happy and healthy weekend. Tomorrow is August 1st. Cannot believe that. Um, of course, I'm going to upload these videos differently, so if you watch this live, hope you guys have a happy and healthy weekend. Stay safe as always. Thank you all for love and support. And if you guys watch this after July 31st, that's what today's date is, 2020, then I hope you guys had a happy and healthy weekend. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. I've been streaming for almost 48 minutes, that's not bad. And anything I forgot to, to say anything I forgot to say I'll put in the description.